Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Orton Studios and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's YouTube video guys, I am going to be playing Beast Swarm Simulator once again. And uh, I just want to start the video by saying thank you guys so, so much for the support on the last Puff Shrooms video. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, all the nice supportive comments and likes. I really did not think the video would do that well. So thank you guys so much. But in today's video by request, of one of the comments, I am going to be talking about how to get all of the nectars in Bee Swarm Simulator. Now, Bee Swarm Simulator has a multitude of nectars. Those nectars include the refreshing, comforting, satisfying, motivating, and invigorating. Now, uh, nectars are really important for getting boosts in general in Beast Form. My motivating nectar up here is lasting for about two hours, and as you guys can see, I'm getting 1.18 times blue pollen, which is really, really good. So, uh, nectars are no joke, guys. But one of the main reasons everyone wants to know about nectars right now is because if you want to complete Bucko Bee's Snow Machine and Riley Bee's Honey, day candles you are going to need to collect four hours of comforting nectar four hours of refreshing four hours of satisfying and four hours of invigorating so i'm gonna make this video really brief but i'm basically gonna be showing you guys how you do that so first of all, in order to obtain nectars, these come from planters in your fields. So based off what field you place a planter in, it will determine what nectars it gives you. Now, if you are standing in the field with a planter, let's look at my ticket planter per se, you will notice that occasionally my bees are going to go up to sip to it. Now, we're just going to wait a second till it looks like one of my bees is going up to sip at my planter. And as you can see, my Crimson Bee is right up here sipping from it, or my and my Festive Bee right now. And when they finish sipping from the planter, I am going to get Nectar. As you can see, a few little green spots are appearing on my screen. And now I have gotten 37 seconds of refreshing Nectar. So every time a bee sips from your planter, it will give you a certain amount of seconds. And if we go ahead and look at my Bucko Bee quest, I need to collect 4 hours of refreshing Nectar. And I am currently at 11 minutes and 50 seconds. And next time, like my Lion Bee per se right now, is taking a sip from the Nectar, that went up from 11 minutes to 12 minutes because he sipped more time out of the Nectar. Now, while that's really nice to know, as you guys can see, just waiting for my beast to sip nectar takes a long time. Um, I highly, highly doubt that you'll be able to, like, easily finish the quest, especially if you're earlier in the game, just from your beast sipping from a bad planter. But there is a really easy way to do this, and that is because when you harvest a fully grown planter, it will give you a lot of nectar time. And, um, by just a really nice fact, when you harvest any ticket, planter it will give you roughly around four hours of that nectar so basically what this means is that when i harvest this ticket planter when it's fully grown it will give me at the very end about four hours plus of refreshing nectar and that is it i am done with the bucko bee requirement and that is how you guys are going to want to complete your quest different planters give you different amounts but the ticket planter is the e one of the easiest ones to get that gives you just the right amount so so I'm going to go ahead now and just quickly show you some ways to get the ticket planner because if you guys max out a ticket planner you can get it. But before we continue guys, you guys are going to need to know what fields you get each nectar from and so that you can complete your quests. So let me go ahead and tell you guys each and every field that you need to put your planters in if you want to get a specific type of nectar. So first of all, if you guys want to get the comforting nectar for Bucko Beast Quest, you can only get that from planters that are planted in the dandelion field, the bamboo field, and the pine tree field. If you guys want to get the refreshing nectar, it has to be planted in blue flower, strawberry, or coconut. If you guys want to get satisfying, it needs to be planted in sunflower field, pineapple field, or the pumpkin field. If you guys want to get the most motivating nectar, it is going to need to be planted in mushroom, spider, stump, or rose, to, and to get the invigorating nectar, you guys are going to need to make sure that it is planted inside of the, the clover field, ant field, 
which is actually pretty unique, uh, the cactus field, mountaintop field, or the pepper patch. So that is going to be where you're going to need to plant uh, each of these if you want to get its specific boost in order for your quest. But if, since you guys want around that four hour mark, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to do it by telling you some ways to get ticket planters. The very first way you guys can get ticket planners right now as of the beginning of Beastmas, this may definitely change in the future, is going to be by going over to the Dapper Bear and talking to him. Uh, the first time you talk to him, he'll tell you that he's still shutting up his shop, but after that, he'll actually also let you guys know that um, you can test out the ticket planner and will give you three ticket planters to use. Now, if you guys watched my Puff Shrooms video, you'll know that ticket planners also also guarantee a puff shroom, so you're knocking out two birds with one stone, especially because the Riley and Buckle quests require both of those things. NPCs will give you ticket planners as a reward. I have gotten ticket planners before from completing Bee Bear quests, so make sure to work on Bee Bear's quest line if you want more ticket planners. If you guys have a spare 100 snowflakes, then go over and open up Bee Bear's catalog and you'll be able to buy one ticket planter for 100 snowflakes. That is a really good deal, but sadly you can only do it once. And with that being said, guys, that is going to be all of the current methods I know. I'm sure we might find more in the future. Uh, I highly, highly, like, I think it's very likely that Dapper Bear's questline might give ticket planners. But with that being said, that is going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video so much. I'm really, really excited about making more Beastmas content. And please comment down below what other things you guys don't understand about Beastmas. The, when, the second you guys tell me what you need content on, I'm definitely going to make it. And I really appreciate it. So with that being said, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Peace.